Kimura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Can't right now. You're only hanging in there as it is. You may recall that I saved your life. I needed you to return the favor. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Dider, I am waiting. Oh shit, not good. Just trouble, usual stuff. Ah, ah. In need of iron and lead, then, I take it? Sure, let me see what you got. of our mayor and dear friend, Lucius Ryan. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. 
been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Suspect so, yeah. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure. But she showed that slyness he get in corporal agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are uh, its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Listen. No, tough guy, you listen. It's people like you two that have brought this country to its knees. Taken our land, our jobs, our fucking dignity. But I own this place and here I decide. So finish your tea and get the fuck out. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. We'll get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. 
No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Yorinobu Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Paka woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Defected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it. Covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Sabro-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The woman is choosy. Expensive and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. Leave me the fuck alone! You don't need to speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want from me? Are you still upset about the other night? You tried to kill me. Well, I gave it some thought and changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Fuck off, you psychopath. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things, think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again. Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead, or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know, Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play, or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. B? That you? Shit. I thought you were... 
You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. You heard about the heist, I take it. Must have, uh, talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? What'd I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I'd want to? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Condolences. Mm. Offer your condolences. Ay, Jesus Christovi. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. Can I, help I was you? going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. know me, but you will. Name's Dino. Deal with downtown city center. V. Yeah, I know. Heard about you. Hot stuff. Need anything, you call me. Remember, Dino knows everybody. I you. like people who understand the value of respect. Will be in touch, me.
pool table, we got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. So... Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall. V, nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? I'm good, thanks. No hay bronca. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night, when Jackie fell. I should say things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. An ofrenda? What's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure some beer would be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> and there will be beer. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. Want to take part in the ceremony, but... Want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But something I'd lay by his casket... That to do justice to his memory, I, I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there. I'm sure. You won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mijo. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes, too. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well... human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but... Just never got together. Till a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. 
Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams, ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set. What, you, you two didn't get that far? He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Gotta be hanging here since 2020. It's a fine piece of metal and mechanics. He was so psyched. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it's a miracle he never wiped out. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. That's definitely why they're up there, yeah. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie. Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Hmm. This'll be... fitting. Well, you got something for your ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Oh, Jackie. That a... mandala? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. An aquarium. It used to be tacos. And Taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf, dwarf shark. Like, like Minnie. Mini. Sounds like a like mighty, mighty expensive fish. fish. Oh, oh. I don't I think he thought it. it. 
Jackie's Jackie favorite, favorite tequila. tequila. Uh, still sealed it. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. Well, how'd Jackie get this one? Some shriveled away in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. Taking this, yeah. yeah. Per perfect, Jackie. Yeah, yeah. Nice still. still. Leather belt helped. Sort of a memento. His dad used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt, told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. It's gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. He didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Where did they go? Actually, I, I think I'll say bye. Say bye bye to him here. M Mama always would want me there anyway. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What she had against you, you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. You gotta come, Misty. You got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, Eddie. Shall we go? I would have thought you might leave Night City. Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? You mean anything? Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he 
he take off of Valentino's ring. He swear he won't beat it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. This gun sign does. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we have this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh, I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. Feels like it happened a century ago. At another time. In another place. Jackie saved my life. And then, years later in Night City, he saved it again. At a time when I thought I'd lost absolutely everything. I found my own freedom then. But it would not have happened without him. Jackie Wells. Best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation. But most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear Hard on his sleeve. He didn't overthink things. He just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. And, and that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. And if he's watching, I bet just about now, he's flipping them all the bird. Haywood kid with a hell of a drive. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, me. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putica Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. And she was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. You... you sure? Jackie would kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, B.
campus all torn up. I'm gonna miss him. He feels like he lost one of his own. I already do. I wonder if he'll be as torn up after you die. <laughs> Me too, cabron. Go start it Me too. Today. Not today. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. I'll see you, Vic. Sure. Hang in there, kid. Pour you another? Oh, hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? Listening's a skill, you know. I think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. Yeah. I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, I think I'm just still in that garage, mentally. I just need a sec. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us from up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it. I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. Jackie, uh, do you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. I need you to focus now, okay? Weird being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Listening's a skill, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 